What's up guys? You already know bro. You already know what we're doing today. Today we're making another video. Today's video is gonna be about cluster bro. Cluster guide from the one and only best cluster next to Krong. He's the second best cluster. I gotta give him credit. He's pretty cracked too, not gonna lie. I'm better though. He won't want me want me bro. He's scared, he's scared for real bro. He mid compared to me in the cluster bro. Anyways, we went we on though. Bro, I'm back with the videos, you already know guys. I got my last video, got like 500 brute. Uh, my last video, uh, okay. My last video got like 500 views, bro. That's crazy to me, like, insane. I kinda, you know, put a kinda, the title I put kinda made it so it got those views, not gonna lie, but you know, I'm still incredibly thankful for those all those 500 views. I only have like 100 subs, and I also got 100 subs from the newest video. Honestly, a W, bro. I'm grateful for all of y'all, whoever subscribed and watched. Anyways, into the video. Long ass intro, bro. You can skip it if you want. Now, first thing with Cluster, you gotta know when to unlock him, fam. You unlock Cluster in level 33. You already know, bro. The good old level 33. Now, it's level 33 hard to get. Depends on the player. If you wanna low, no life the game, then it should be easy for you, not gonna lie. But if you're just a casual player, it might take you some time to get level 33. But it's not too bad, bro. As long as you just keep playing, you'll eventually get him. He might be nerfed by the time you get him. But I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. I'm thinking you should grind up to level 33 right now. Anyways, bro. Moving on. Next thing about Cluster in this godly Cluster guy, dude. Now, first thing with Cluster is what does Cluster counter and what counters Cluster? Basically, what I just said, yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or is counter, she already know, bro. Sniper, if she's out of range. If she's in range, you just demolish her. Fire bomber, if he's out of range, obviously. If he's in range, you demolish him too. Assault, assault is kind of a 50-50. If whoever is the better player wins that matchup, I'm not going to lie to you. And then, shotgunner. Shotgunner is just like the fastest fucking character in the game bro she'll just go run up right up to you and just three shot you two shot you bro depending on the level it's literally insane what shotgunner how hard she counters cluster to be honest she's like the hardest counter to cluster next to sniper fire armor is i don't know bro you can just walk up right to him right up to him bro it's kind of wacky now what does cluster counter you know what i'm saying cluster counters every support including medic booster cryonier he also counters Heavy, you know what I'm saying, because Heavy's kind of ass. He counters Flamer, obviously. He also counters... Bro, I forgot about Commando. Commando's kind of... I oh, don't know, he's kind of mid. He, he kind of... He's kind of a 50-50 with Commando, too. He's kind of the same case as Assault. 50-50 with both of those. Depending on the level, though. Com every Commando usually is super low level, so you're just going to clap him instantly, you know what I'm saying? It's whatever, though. Warrior, bro. You kind of hard counter warrior. I'm joking, bro. If warrior gets right up to you, then you're dead. But if the warrior isn't targeting you, then, well, he's dead, obviously. You're just gonna destroy him with freaking cluster shots. Since cluster's OP like that, you know what I mean? It's kind of insane. It's kind of a 60, 30, 60, 40, you know what I mean? 60 goes for the warrior, because if he gets close to you, then you're dead. And sometimes, depending, bro. If he gets super close to you, and if he... If he, if, he, if he can't out heal your damage, then he's dead. He's dead, bro. I honestly haven't had too much experience with 1v1ing warriors, so I can't say much on that, you know what I'm saying? Then there's Ice Guard, but I haven't faced Ice Guard at all, so I don't know if he counters or if she counters him, you know what I'm saying? Let me know if I missed any characters that counter or, hard, or he counters, you know what I'm saying? Comment down below if I missed anything, because, you know, I'm running off of 30 minutes of sleep right now, you know what I'm saying? So... Moving on though, moving on, next thing about Cluster. <laughs> Another thing with Cluster, dude. It she works basically in any stage of the game, not gonna lie. But if you want to play in late game, do it on defense. In mid game also, defense. I mean, you can go offense if you're feeling a little bit freaky, you know, freaky deaky. You can go offense and clutch up a game like I did one time. For the, for the clutch win, and then I got like, I don't know, a bunch of medals. Uh, anyways, bro. 
He's pretty cracked early game, not gonna lie. Since there's still bots in the game, you can just pop off and kill all the bots kind of easily. If I'm being honest, you can just kill all the bots. Now, there's more real players too. But you can honestly just kill them too, unless they're like assault or shotgun or anything fast. Which is basically a bunch of truth, but anyways. So just remember to watch out for that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Watch out for those. But my bad, bro. Watch out for those people, bro. You're gonna get clapped by them. You can still clap them too. It's pretty fair since Cluster is the most balanced troop in the game right now. It just depends on how you play and how you're positioning. Mainly, you want to position behind other people. Just cause even though you're tanky, you want to position behind other people so they can take up the damage while you do some damage since your burst damage is pretty insane you basically one shot snipers whatever level you are bro it's crazy it's crazy he's still balanced though he's still balanced though anyways bro once you pick him early game you already know what you want to do bro like i said stand behind your team and just pop off start shooting shots at everybody if you see a medic you can kill that medic fast so make sure to target medics first and usually they're gonna be right next to the pe person they're healing so you're gonna get like a double sh a double hit so it's pretty cracked so if you see a medic and he's with somebody you should definitely target them first unless there's like a bunch of bots in your way then just go for the boss but if the medic and the real and the player he's healing is real people then target them first bro get them out of there first while hiding behind your team because you don't want to die instantly you know what i'm saying there's going to be other bots there or the people there so just make sure to play it safe your positioning in a cluster is really important because if you get caught out by a fast character, you're basically dead. Also, sniper. If you, a sniper just starts beaming you, like she locks onto you, you're dead. Unless you misplace and stand still for like 30 seconds, then you can just two tap her. But that's kind of rare. If you're facing a good player, they're gonna run away from you and they're just gonna beam you from like 10 years away. It's honestly so dumb how long it ranges. But her name is Sniper for a reason, bro. <laughs> after you clear all that, after you clear the zone all by yourself as your cluster, you just want to know, obviously, capture the zone, whatever zone you're at, fam. You just want to capture it easy peasy, bro. You're going to capture it anyways because your cluster the most balanced character in the game, you know what I'm saying? You just want to build defenses if you have points or munitions, whatever they're called. I do not care, bro. You just want to build some defenses and just pop off on defense, bro. If there's a freaking cover, you can just pop off even harder unless there's five bomber or another cluster or flamer. Then you're just gonna struggle. But other than that, bro, you can just hide behind cover and start beaming off people. Unless they're fast like Jetpack, then you're just gonna not hit them at all. Unless they're close range and they're dumb. I don't know why you would get close range to a cluster. But if they get close range to you, then they're basically dead in like 10 seconds. Just saying. Not even 10, bro. 5 seconds, 2 seconds. They're dead, bro. If they get close to you, that's all I'm saying. That's a tip right there, bro. If you're a cluster, try to get as close as you can to fast characters. And from for slower characters, it doesn't matter where you stand. You can just beam them, bro. Since they're slower and you can just hit them anyways. Since freaking projectile speed is fast as heck, dude. It's crazy, bro. Like heavy, bro, you just hard counter heavy. If he doesn't beam you in like a second. You basically hard counter him because he can't avoid your shots at all. And you basically like... You four shot him or three shot him depending on your level you you're gonna melt him instantly if he doesn't melt you first obviously that's only the early game bro it's honestly the same throughout the rest of the game cluster's really only purpose is defense he's not really good at offense sometimes you can use it on offense but i'm gonna talk about that later bro right for right now i'm gonna talk about mid game fam mid game you just want to continue staying on defense bro hard defense if you die you can just switch to a different character obviously just stack defenses bro if you if you die then just get a power up come back with a different troop like i just said it's pretty easy pretty simple how you play cluster bro make sure to use the cover to your advantage as much as you can like as much as you can bro and then use defenses too to body block for you bro use anything to body block this is a general tip for any character you want to play bro, use everything and anything you can to body block for you anytime you're getting shot at or you're getting low bro, it's it's a lifesaver for real. Another lifesaver, kind of off topic, but if you're about to die, just go to the freaking, go to a vehicle. If there's a vehicle in your HQ that you can buy and just right before you die, just buy that thing bro, buy that thing, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, back to Cluster bro. The mid game's pretty simple, Cluster, not gonna lie to you. Just defend, like I said 20 times in this game. 
Oh no, I'm gonna see bro, Cluster's kind of a one-sided character. His purpose is just early game capturing the HQ, which he's excellent at in my opinion, and just defending all game. Other than that, he's not very useful. Except one thing. Late game. Like I talked about earlier, bro. Let's get into the late game. This one thing you can do on cluster, bro, is go cluster offense, but not as like actually offense to like do damage. Although you can't do that. But mainly what you want to do on offense with cluster is be a support troop. Obviously there's gonna be enemy defenders on the enemy HQ. And with cluster, what you can do if they're all clumped up, depending if they are or not, you can just beam them bro and defend and since you're kind of tanky you can defend your offensive troop which is going to be either Zuka or Firewarmer and you can just go off on the defenders bro if they're especially if they're grouped together you're going to hit them all at once even even if they're not they're going to try to target your win condition as much as you can unless they're smart but if they're dumb players they're going to target the win condition first sometimes most of the time they're going to target you first but you're gonna get damage off and with your win condition there he's obviously gonna be helping you so what you want to do as cluster is basically try to shoot the defenders as much as you can just beam the defenders bro just be a distraction be a nuisance to the defenders bro if you can kill them then excellent even if you don't kill them bro you're gonna be distracting them and they're not gonna be able to kill your win condition while your win condition does damage to defenses or the HQ. Either he takes out a defense or he does a big chunk to the HQ. That's base case, base, base, best case scenario, not gonna lie. Most times what either is gonna happen is a few shots to the a defense or the HQ just cause most players are decent enough to know to take you out first. But if they're not bro, you can still be super annoying and just clap anybody that's on defense. And to make it even better, you can obviously buy a heal spell or, you know, shield. Any other spell that's, any spell is basically good with cluster. Basically anything. Anything, bro. Except airstrike. Airstrike's the worst card in the game, not gonna lie to you. I mean, it can still work if you want to get chip damage, but you're kind of throwing if you buy that. It's kind of a waste of munitions, not gonna lie to you, bro. Being straight up, don't do that. But, there's a big but in this section bro, okay? If you want to go cluster offense, make sure you have people defending with full defenses, everything bro. If you do, if you want, don't do this in solo queue by the way. Only if you have a team bro, okay? And if your base is secure, securely defended bro, defended securely, okay? Only do that in that case, okay? Only other time you want to go cluster offense is like at the last 10 seconds if you want, and you want to get some damage off to hopefully clutch the game like I did before. It's probably not recorded but oh well, you just gotta trust me on that but anyways, like I'm saying, you can do that. Since he's tanky, you can take up some shots and, or you can just buy a power up to also help you out to get some chip damage. Also, you can use him on offense against defenses but it's not really the most efficient thing obviously, he's not a win condition. But he does do pretty decent damage to defenses, like the freaking machine gun, the mini turret, whatever that thing's called, bro. He does some good damage to that. But just leave it up to your win conditions mainly. It's only one thing you want to do for if you want to help. Or if it's really low, then you can obviously just shoot it to help out. But to be honest, those are really the only scenarios you can use cluster on offense. Any other time you want to use him on defense, okay, bro? Okay, bro? Do you hear what I'm saying right now, bro? Okay, bro? Okay, bro. But yeah, for the late game, you just want to defend on Cluster, to be honest. Just defend as long as you can, bro. Buy power-ups. If you die with a different troop and you come back as Cluster, then buy a power-up, obviously. If you have enough points, then you can obviously buy a vehicle. Whatever it is, Scorcher, Tank. Don't buy Missile Tank, please. Anything else, though, you can buy it on defense, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Overall, Cluster is pretty solid on defense, except... For jetpacks, you want to let your teammates deal with that. I mean, you can deal with it, but it's, he's going to get something something off, bro. He's going to get a boom bundle or power up off before you kill him. If you have full defenses, then he might not get to your HQ with whatever he has. But that's kind of rare since freaking jetpack super fast. We don't really have to worry about jetpack much because nobody plays jetpack. You know, you know what I'm saying? Bro, so irrelevant. Even Some people do play him, but I've seen more freaking... Flamers in jetpack, you know what I'm saying? He's irrelevant and flamers garbage. I mean, they're both garbage, but moving on bro 
Now, bro, for some secret, ultimate, unknown tips that you want on Cluster Fam. Obvious one, like I said before in this video, use cover as much as you can. It makes you so much more tankier. You get 70% reduced damage with cover. And since Cluster's kind of tanky already, it's a good combination, bro. That's all I'm saying. Please use cover as much as you can. Please do it, bro. Even though you're going to be annoying if I ever face you, this should be an obvious tip, but... Shoot as much people as you can with cluster. That's basically his thing, you know what I'm saying? Shooting groups of people all at once. Obviously with bots, it's easier. But with real player, it's easier said than done against real players. But sometimes, most of the time, real players usually get caught in the group and you can just clap them. But most of the time, you can just clap the bots, whatever bots there are, really fast since cluster's obviously good at that. And then you can target the real player. And obviously you're not alone so you're gonna have other real players with you or boss that are gonna be distracting the real player you know what i'm saying if the real player is good then he's gonna just target you right off the bat but your cluster you're gonna get him super low depending on what character it is you're still gonna get him super low anyways if you're a good cluster you, you might even kill him bro you know what i'm saying it depends on skill with cluster just cause he's pretty much the best character in the game even though he's the most balanced character in the game too not gonna lie please don't nerf him bro don't nerf him <laughs> don't nerf him bro he's been so bad for so long bro i said this 20 billion times before but just don't nerf cluster please ak you're probably not watching this but don't nerf him bro anyways guys that's enough i have for cluster guy you know what i'm saying the best cluster guide on youtube remember to share this video with everybody bro anybody you see bro even if you see them IRL, bro share it with them you know what i'm saying you'd be like hey yo watch this guy not eric bbf yeah <laughs> anyways bro if you enjoyed the video hopefully you did i don't care anyways my battery's about to run out so hope you have an amazing day Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like it if you want. Drop a comment if you want too. I don't really care. I'm joking, bro. Drop up a comment. Or I'm going to give you $10. I'm joking. I don't have money. Anyway, bye. Bro, what even was that outro, bro? I'm like editing this right now. I'm just like, what was that? Anyways, bye again.